Welcome to part 14 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero Complete course. Today we will learn some of the type controls in Adobe Illustrator. Type control is perhaps the most flexible and powerful aspect of the application because after all it would be unusual to complete a design without using these letters. Grab the type tool and make a type box by dragging a box. For now we will just leave the placeholder text that is default to. Now make sure that the bounding box is on by going to view menu and show bounding box. If it reads hide bounding box, do not select it. Now with the selection tool, drag the corners of the completed type box. The type will move and reformat according to the dimensions of the box. This way of entering text into Illustrator is called area type. It is the best way to enter text that will need to flow within the type area. We call longer sections of type and paragraphs body or paragraph copy. If the type extends past the text area, you will get a small red box with a plus sign in it, which signifies that the box has more text than it shown. Shorter bits of type like small statement and headlines are sometimes called headers. When you want headers to flow with the body copy that accompanies them, often you put them into these type area boxes. But when you want more flexibility in how short strings of word behave, then you make them a different way. Now instead of dragging a box with the type tool, just click somewhere on the page with the type tool. Make sure a type box is not selected when you do this. After you click, you can start typing. This is called point type. Go ahead and type a couple of words or leave the placeholder text. Now with the selection tool, click on the words you just made. If you do not see a box around the letter, turn on the bounding box by going to view menu and show bounding box. Now when you drag the corners of the box with the selection tool, the text will enlarge and reduce instead of flowing within the box. As a matter of fact, the text will act just like any other object you have made in Illustrator. Hold down the shift key while you drag the constrained proportions of the type. You should always do this. You can also use Alt plus drag to copy the type or use the rotate tool or any other tool as you did with a line or closed object. Even with the type diagonal and reverse, it will remain able to be edited by just clicking inside the type with the type tool. You can also change between area and point type by double clicking on the small circle to the right of the text box. Point type is very useful if you have short bits of text that you would like to be very flexible. Since it can be transformed or scaled or rotated visually. With short lines of words not connected to a paragraph, it is far better than changing type sizes in the character panel since it can be scaled visually very easily. Area type and point type behave very differently when editing. With both area and point type, change the color of the fill and stroke the same way you did with other objects. But be careful how much stroke you add to your type as it can quickly distort letter shape. That's all in our part 14 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero Complete course and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to master in Adobe Illustrator. By the way, if you have not seen our earlier videos, please take a look. This course is especially designed for those who are brand new to Adobe Illustrator. It covers everything in full detail. Link is given in the description and first comment. So I will see you in part 15.